Right, hello everybody, welcome to game number 20 of Clawpom versus another health team. He's going to get a wizard, isn't he? 1337. Um, I actually can't see right now, that's a bit of a hindrance. Um, he's got, oh my god, he's got a bomber! <laughs> but doesn't have jump up. He should have gone, he should have gone, in my opinion. Who knows nothing. Mighty Blow piling on tackle, jump up. But I can see the point of having the dodge. But I'd have gone tackle first, then jump up, and then round him out with dodge at 76. Personally. But uh, this is pretty rowdy, this is a pretty pretty rowdy player, isn't he? He's 14 4 4, very good record. Um, got loads of claw mighty and block and piling on and guard. All sorts of exciting things could happen, but he is going to have a wizard. Oh, he's not got a wizard, he's got journeyman! Yes! Yes! Glorious! No wizard and he's only got 30k in the bank. Finally! Finally! Not having to face a wizard. Fucking glorious. Absolutely glorious. Going for a bribe. <laughs> Bit of snooping in chat. Oh god, I can't actually see. Woo! Oh, it's so good, isn't it? That's so good, there's no wizard. Man, I was so good when I played somebody up 120 and they had 30 in the bank. And it's like, if they'd only had 20, it would have been, been alright. That is, that is fantastic, isn't it? They only had 30 in the bank. Would have been annoying to face a wizard. But, like, you know, he's got some blood. It's not going to be easy at all this game, is it? This is not going to be easy, but hopefully get some Kaz and make it easier. Got a reserve for his inevitable cards. Like he is going to make cards, isn't he, with a pommer? You would think. I mean, could foul him um, if he doesn't make a cards with the first hit. <laughs> Might even have to foul him anyway. Because he'll put him. He's got blood. Like he's a good player, even without the pom, isn't he? So might might have to stick a foul on him. <laughs> yep. Right, so kicking, there's more chance of him only having one kill roll, but it doesn't matter because he's got... It doesn't matter because he's got uh, babes anyway, so let's go for the receive. Three, four, five, six... No, five dodges. This is catch, isn't it? For some reason, all skills are up. Five blodges. No dodge players. Well, not only dodge players. One only block player. Let's go for the removals and hope it snowballs. There's no balls like snowballs. Never forgive. <laughs> yeah, exactly, Satterfield, yeah. Yeah. Hello, Cruiser. Oh, God, I really can't see. Yeah, like he's going to put himself prone to pile on, isn't he? So might as well foul him then. Hello, Scurom. <laughs> Sorry, I can't help calling you Scurom anymore. <laughs> ah, woo! It's a me, Scurom. It's so. Oh, wow, 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 wow. Oh, I ran out of time and got it back. Disappointing. It's funny, I really like high elves in Warhammer, but never liked them in. Blood Bowl. I just kind of don't like Warhammer in Blood Bowl. And the fact that they're bit, I mean, even here they're basically weapon snipped fucking like spearmen, aren't they? Basically. I don't know. Hello. <laughs> so, like, I don't know, man. I, I like Blood Bowl second edition where there was just elves and dark elves and the just elves were like what they made pro elves that was better to me I don't like that they're just fucking high elves man. I've never liked the models for them either third ed or the current ones I don't even know what current edition is I can kind of call fourth ed there were like Different releases of miniatures. You could maybe call this fifth or sixth ed, but it's not really, is it? It's more fourth ed. It's the it's the only like it's only the fourth official. Well, I guess it's the fifth official release, like Blood Bowl 2016. So this is kind of like, it's 
kind of like fifth ed we're in now but in terms of models it's kind of like sixth or something you even have a wrestler he's got a wrestler but only strength three i don't mind carrying on the uh on the warrior here and then he might get this might get the tutti knight and he get, get the level cheeky level Just go for the 3D with him in. Oh, fuck me, I missed. Oh, it's really, it's real struggle not being able to see. <laughs> it's really weak to like a short kick there, isn't it? Maybe there, in case it's deep. If it's deep, the, the the beast man gets it, and if it's short, he gets it. That that makes sense, doesn't it? Hello, Duckster. Well, I don't know. I think it looks better that they look like Blood Bowl players. Personally, I would rather a Blood Bowl player look like a Blood Bowl player than a dude who's just finished fighting a battle in Total War. <laughs> you know? <laughs> oh, i got to go through the ball to get there. Which means... putting him on the outside. Oh god, a real... real struggle to see. <laughs> oh my god, I nearly made that a 3D as well. And he took the board down then. <laughs> we got the power. The bad thing is the defenseless guy offering up the defenseless guy for the prom here, isn't it? On the other hand, what can I do? Hopefully I fail the pickup so he can go for the ball. No. Disappointing. Yeah, he's, I mean, he's getting pumped 100%. Would it have been much better to hung out him to dry or something, but there you go. Hello, K-Fog. No, right. Yeah, so I guess figures are different. Uh, the different editions of figures are different than the different editions of the rules. <laughs> Thank you, all from Ajax. <laughs> he was somehow more tragic. <laughs> However, though, Ducky, um, he's managed to. Uh, he's he's qualifying, isn't he? He's still up there. Um, oh, if he piles, he's getting. Oh, he's not piling. Yeah, Dio's still up there. Uh, yeah, Dio got a much better score. But it was my last two games that lost, wasn't it? Without, if those last two games had been win wins, I would have had a better record than him, I think. It was only the last two games that made the, that made the record terrible. Tackle on every square. <laughs> That's a good idea. <laughs> That's a real good idea. I was going to call them Mutan Kings. Um... Thanks to, <laughs> thanks to the incredible, uh, incredible cyanide, um, you know, things.
Right, ball safe, so I can eat a double skull here. Don't even have to. What a glorious day! Just 14 wins. <laughs> I mean, it's not, is it? It's not, it's not 14 wins, really. There's like, you know, because obviously there's... Oh, God, yeah, 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 that's true, yeah. All right, um... understand this it's got oh okay there's blood ball and then fancy ball yeah so first edition is the actual first edition of blood ball yeah 86 then second edition is what a lot of people think first edition is but yeah though, though I remember that you see those just had elves that were great and and like they, they everyone just looked like blood ball players there was no Warhammer bullshit it was all these just looked like Blood Bowl players, especially the dwarves. I didn't even hate dwarves in second ed. That's how good they were. Third ed was 94. It was not fucking 91. Nah, I can't believe Blood Bowl's third edition was 91. Really? Is it 91? Ninety-four. Yeah, they they've just got it wrong there. It was ninety-four. All right, so third edition's ninety-four. They were wrong. Yeah. Fourth edition wasn't really like that was living rule book, so it wasn't really like there wasn't really a f fourth edition, and then fifth edition was still living rule book, so it wasn't really a fifth edition. So sixth edition is twenty sixteen, and that's really fourth edition, isn't it? And now this is really fifth edition. Oh, we've got at the moment. Twenty twenty. Right, so he did knock everyone over. Cosmic. Oh, he's marked him with a fucking sidestepper. Some to push. 
Le combat mmh. paraît inévitable. Les sorciers appellent ça. Having a warrior out of the time is not good, is it? Turn four. It's a bit fucked with a riot because I never really like look at the turn numbers. <laughs> I just kind of. <laughs> I don't really think a lot. I just play by instinct ninety nine percent of the time, and then so these kind of drives when I've had a riot, because I'm never like actively looking at the turn that much. It always kind of catches me out a riot. Yeah, exactly, Wolfram. Yeah, but there is no tackle, no nectar, no no tackle, no problems. <laughs> <laughs> I think he knows that he's getting fucking booted if he piles on, that's the thing, isn't it? So, like, maybe if he gets a natural armor break on a good player, he'll pile on. Or, like, if he's putting loads of pressure on the ball, he'll pile on or whatever. But on, like, the rando attrition blitzers, he's not going to want to pile on, is he? I haven't really missed tackle, honestly. Like, there's put, played very few agility teams. Uh, beat one of them, beat one of the good ones, lost to one of the good ones, and could have easily drawn, or probably not really won, but could have easily drawn versus one of the good teams. So, even out tackle. Tackle has got to be like the most overrated skill in football. I would say. It's quite a good move, isn't it? But now he's either going to get hit or fouled. Or he can dodge away, I guess. Yeah, exactly. Hey! Boo! <laughs> So close. That's okay. He's given up a mighty blow hit to do that, hasn't he? Get up the pommer now. Unless he kicks his head in. How about a 3D on him? I don't hate that. Glorious. Glorious. Right, not getting forward is a pain. But. him on a rookie. Ah! 
Nice removal. Finally get a removal. Turn fucking five. <laughs> oh dear. Yes, it's a crazy blitzer, isn't it? Crazy blitzer. Blodge tackle palm. It's incredible. So like, okay, you get to knock him down. But, it took him three players to do it, didn't it? Which is quite good. Nice. I had a, I had a high elf catcher with Pom. <laughs> Which was pretty good. <laughs> Though he did go a mighty blow piling on. Um, block, tackle, jump up. And just didn't have dodge. <laughs> At 76, he didn't have dodge. <laughs> Unfortunately, him using loads of guys to get this knockdown is still good, isn't it? Because they're still in the way. And they're not, like, you know, they're standing in a good spot to get the knockdown. Sadly. I don't know how I'm meant to get forward now. It's going to be rough, isn't it? He's got loads of re-rolls, so I'm making a dodge there isn't a problem. I'm just going to blitz him, I guess. I'll just punch him. That's where I expected the blitz to come. Hello, Jilly Deals. Yeah, I like, I like jump up first. Can we foul him? Nice. He's a loner as well. Oh, baby. Double cheer for oh, it's fucking rough, isn't it? On it on the string on the move five guy. I'm gonna double cheer for her. Uh... Get a plim plom head. And then, oh god, double G of Ellie. Fuck me, this is pretty exposed. But I don't see a way to do it better. failed yet. Glorious. <laughs> it's obviously you just move everyone anyway because everyone's free. But if, even if they were tagged you could move them out. Like you really just need to remove some guys don't you against elves. Like it's pretty, I've basically almost been out bashed this half, like he's made more stuns, he's made more knockdowns, because obviously I'm the one having to jam it in to fucking get something going. <sighs> I 
really need to get some removals. Haha, <laughs> Satter Toad. Little two pluses. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, it's not like it's not it's not surprising. I expected to get up past this game, but it'd be nice. Like you know, roll some powers. It'd be nice to have made more removals than one. <laughs> Would have been nice to have made more removals than one. That's all I'm saying. Like you've got to make the removals. Why well, you have to take mighty blow? You have to take mighty blow, and you have to fucking remove people. Because if you don't remove people, you're just gonna lose. Like that's it. You have to take mighty blow. It doesn't matter about block or tackle or anything like that. You have to have claw palm because if you don't remove elves, they'll just two plus away. He's still got three rerolls. If it had some tackle, he would have used some rerolls on attack, dodging away from tackle. Like it just doesn't matter. You just move everyone around and you can't stop them. You have to remove people. No, exactly. Yeah, of course he did more box because that's what I mean I had to force the action because I had to try and I had to try and get him to fail things or whatever and had to try and push up, didn't it? Like it is. It's not. But you know, had those initial four blocks right. That was the thing. Had those. I don't know if he's had more blocks overall. Maybe, but those initial four blocks off the LOS really needed. Really needed something. As I said, it's not, it's not that crazy that it's like he, he has taken a removal and he hasn't done a removal. But it's just like, obviously, you know, by putting in jamming in strength 4, he gets to just knock him down, isn't he? Most of it. Like, I don't know if he's rolled a push. He seems to have powered every single fucking block he's made, to be honest, which doesn't help. But then they are 75% instead of 55%. But just really needed to fucking remove somebody. It hasn't happened, does it? Right, scoring threat. First things first. No, oh, my, my fucking... No, it hasn't. I thought it fucking died, but it hasn't. I've got to concentrate on not losing. <laughs> First and foremost. I have to not lose here. Scoring threat. Maybe him if I train him. Maybe him if he doesn't get. If he won in 12 9 sixes. I'm Sancho. Uh, no bakers, nothing's missing. Welcome to the stream where everything dies all the time. I just did that because I had the reroll, but obviously it was fucking stupid. Uh, yeah, there was, yes, yeah, that field. Yeah, was. It is really hard to carry in the Warriors, yeah. yeah. Like, of course, right? But then it, it meant that he had no sacking threat, which was nice. 
meant also lost the strength from having it. So it wasn't great having it on the warrior. But the thing was, if he scores, it levels him. So that was the real that was the real deciding factor. No, absolutely shouldn't have done that. Crazy. Man. He's not going to run around. What's he going to run around and uphill the ball? Hey, he can't do fuck all when he gets there. Can he? Yeah, but the gap doesn't do anything. If, if he had a shot on the ball, then yes. Yes, if he had like, you know, a, a, if he had a strength 5 leaper. <laughs> or just a strength 5 player. No. Or a strength 5 player and a guarder. If he had a strength five guard and if he had a strength five player and a guarder, then yes. Oh, they need a chain. Or strip, yeah. He doesn't even have a stripper. Doesn't even have a stripper. Imagine that. Green t-shirt stream. Yeah, I know I should do it. I should get a green t-shirt just for that. <laughs> nah, well, he's blitzed already anyway, so there's no, there's no chain. Basically, so just got to uh, just got to punch things and protect the ball. So it could be another 1 0 loss incoming. <laughs> oh, yes, he subs. I'll do that. I'll do that. Wait a minute. Let me just put it on for a second. All right, there you go. It's done. <laughs> There's the green morph suit. Brilliant. <laughs> it's literally. I'm literally wearing it now. There's my green morph suit. Got it on. Oh, wait. Give me a second. I'll take it off. Oh, there you go. Right, so there's no chain on. All there is is a three dice blitz on him. Disappointing, isn't it? That a disappointing draft against a full team. Well, that's always the danger, isn't it? Again, receiving against owls is that you just don't do anything to them. Two plus, you dickhead. <laughs> It's a two plus your penis. <laughs> Toxic thanks, yep. Yeah. Couldn't chain him. He had to be chained too. He was six away, so he couldn't chain him too. I didn't know any friends. Yeah, he's got double babes. So it was an instant pile. Hello, all looking. Not so good now after fucking not removing any fucking owls. Well, I removed one. Maybe I should have kicked. Now he's protected the. Now he's protected the pommer from the foul. Glorious. Hey, 
I'm just going to go in for the wrestle. Like he could do this, couldn't he? Could just kill his guy. Very, very rough. Les deux équipes sont au coude à coude. Passe un coup de pied crucial. There's not a lot can be done now, is there really? Eleven versus eleven is defended. <laughs> now I really wish I'd kicked because <laughs> this is like kicking. <laughs> Except if I removed the seven players, I would have scored on my I would have scored on my drive if he started with seven players. Which you know maybe he wouldn't you know but like no, the point is now even if I bash him, it's not going to help me as much. And if he outbashes me, he just he just wins. But he would have won anyway, I guess, if he'd outbashed me in the first half. But then I guess at least I'd have an apple on a reserve. Glorious. I don't know. No, I won't give in. Until I'm victorious. And I will defend. I will defend. About time. About time. Right. Sorry, I've just got to think a little bit. That'll be wrong. Papa Piccolo, glorious. Thank you very much for staying fantastic for three whole years. Oh, I've just realised it was Wednesday yesterday, wasn't it? Oh, fuck, I didn't do the Wednesday of wrestling. Shit. Oh, well. <laughs> Don't forget to thank him when he fucks up. Maybe, Jerry, yeah, maybe. Uh, because this isn't an edge. If he blitz here, he doesn't. He doesn't break through, right? If he blitzes here, he can break through. If he blitzes these guys, if he knocks down the LOS, or even you know knocks down the LOS and, and knocks down this guy, he can break through here. If he knocks this guy, he doesn't break through at all. So by having the strength here and here, I mean you could have him on the edges of the LOS as well and stuff, but whatever. But yeah, by having the strength there and there, he can't actually break through off warrior hits. Oh well. Sorry, if he wants to break through, he's got to hit a warrior, which is strength four. Whereas hitting the the beast man, which is the easier hit. I didn't need to put him there, did I? This should have been just the mighty blow guy. I left him there when he was claw mighty. Never mind. I just go for the kills, yeah. <laughs> Virtual strain of coronavirus. I don't think it's coronavirus, but uh, I got something. Blitz, no. Not a blitz. Yeah, just kill it. Just go for the kills and kill the skins. Just heavily outbash this team. Or roll an instant double skull and then don't do anything to them. I guess the good thing is knowing that I've got to uh, power up or to win now. Yep, going for the catches is certainly valid. Mm -hmm. Maybe I should have carried on the beast man. My girls are difficult to beat on. This is annoying, exposing him instead of the mighty blow guy. Yeah, somebody's looking for a natural AV break. Misclick. Mm. 
Yeah, just two plus out. Simple, isn't it? Classic elf play. <laughs> Let's go for the classic elf play of rolling dice. Any any error you make is solved by a simple two plus. With a reroll, yeah. Ah, not this one though. It's got four rerolls, like he could reroll it. But I guess he doesn't think he has to. Little does he know that what these characters lack in kill skills they make up for in <laughs> randomly being elves. Standing up on him. <laughs> Fuck off. God damn it. Stop being fucking shit dice roller, man. God, that pissed me off. I'm so. I'm so rubbish at rolling dice, man. Dub skulls on turn eight, on turn one, and dub skulls on turn nine. Just yeah, that wasn't a good typo, was it? <laughs> Not a good typo from Jelly Deals there. <laughs> Excuse you, Jelly. <laughs> oh no, there's a gaping hole. My real dice aren't so bad, I've got casino dice. Not not the stealer segment from PC. But yeah, look, there's my there's my uh, there's my casino dice. Glorious. Not loaded dice, no, just uh, just casino dice. <laughs> Not the ones. <laughs> it was great, one of the PC segment. That was fucking amazing. <laughs> it does feel like that sometimes, Wolf, from you. It does feel like that sometimes. Let's see a good one in eighty one here. Or even a one in thirty six on a dodge. No, just another pal. Thirty-six, but it was after it didn't matter anymore. Motherfucker! This is a five. A five isn't bad here. Um, I 
Hello, Muppet. Right. Cheers. You could go there and then go there. I don't hate the five plus. Problem is, do the completely unnecessary one first to get rid of the dubs. So fucking really? That gets rid of the one in 81, you see, that I was guaranteed to roll. Right, now there's no re-roll for it. Gotta do this, haven't I? I was never going to do it with the claw pump. Claw pump does the 3D, doesn't it? Not great, is it? That was fucking annoying, that man. Back to back dubs. No, it wasn't. Yeah, it was 9 and 10. It's back to back dub schools, isn't it? I've rolled there. Fuck's sake. Three dub schools in this game. And it feels like he's rolled one block that wasn't a knockdown. That's what I can remember. I remember one of his blocks that wasn't a knockdown. Versus three dub skulls. Well, Bakers, we're in a pretty fucking horrible situation now, aren't we? That's the thing. So pile on there. Just, you know, already the... Already the board is pretty much looking horrific. And at nil-nil, if he scores, he doesn't lose, does he? So... He's going to be happier scoring early than he would have been in the first half. Like, in the first half, if he scores... Like, the thing with the Elves is... I think I will I think I will kick him against Elves in the future. Because against Elves, if this is the first half, he doesn't want to score early. Because he thinks if he scores early, he'll lose. Whereas now he thinks... Well, at least if I score early, it'll, it'll, it will at least be a draw, right? So he, he gets that. He gets to know that, which makes his offence easier. If this is the first half, he thinks, I can't score early or I'll lose. So then he's got to stall it and he's got to try and, you know, make riskier plays to keep the stall alive. Whereas now, he'll just think, oh, fuck it, bang it in, and at least I don't lose. Like, if it goes terribly, not that it's gone terribly yet. But I mean, if they go to one grind, then you can do that anyway. Right? Like the, th the problem is, like, if. Yeah, that is nice, yeah. He could dub skull. No, but at least he didn't pal. Just go for the kills, yeah. Yeah, the classic go for the kills. Maybe I should just move this guy over one.
God, a double one now would be real nice, wouldn't it? Now, I, th I think it, with the elves especially, it's the unknown for them, isn't it? Whereas if they know they've stopped your other 1-0 up, then they can bang it in. Like, you can't... You can't, um... You know if you've successfully defended or not. So I think that's against the against elves. I will, I will just, uh... Receive in future. Right, kick in future. Right, so if I 2D him, then I've got recovery. Potentially. Power of blood. Oh, some people are fucking annoying, aren't they? <laughs> oh, dear. Alright. Let's see if I power him here. Hey. Do I three dice, or do I just two dice and hope for the power? I was thinking, but then if I if I don't follow, then I then I block these anyway. If I if I power, it's a lot better, isn't it? There we go. Just go for the 2D. He's got a catch, I just got a hold of him. Go. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> I'd like to GFI. But I guess I just can't. <laughs> Get off my fucking pitch, prick. <laughs> I'm not like PC. <laughs> I just give up. I think a GFI'd be really good here. Nah, there's no way I can. There's no way I'll succeed. I just won't even try. <laughs> oh, look at that. Another pal. Rage is getting all the powers now. Oh, and a Kaz. Oh, baby. Well, now this is looking incredible, isn't it? Just need the pickup. No, I need, need the pickup. I've got to go down there. Anyway. Oh, man, why can I never fucking pick up the ball against cunting elves? God, they fuck me off, man. Like, I need to make one roll in the entire fucking half. <laughs> like, it's two dice blocks, which is a 1 in 36 fail, right? Everything's a two dice block. And then you make one dice roll, one d6 roll, and it's always a fail. <laughs> I've rolled more fucking dub skulls than he's rolled single ones. For fuck's sake. Yeah, my fault. Did power some blotches, that's true. But I have rolled three double skulls. I think I need to reroll that, because if you get the ball in hand of a strength 4, dude. Also the early, like, it sucks going down on one reroll, because now pretty much nothing is is going to do it. 
Screw all the wires. What are you doing, what are you doing here? What are you doing? Ah. That was that was great powering. I mean, I can imagine. Like the thing was that rolling that dub skull let me imagine that I'd re-roll the five plus in, and then <laughs> and then re-rolling that pickup made let me imagine that I'd re-roll the hit to power the bludger. So it kind of works out fair, I guess. It's just too easy for them to pick up the ball. I had to re-roll pick up. It's just too fucking easy for them, isn't it? Really, fucking elves, man. Even shitty high elves. <laughs> They're just too good at like <laughs> winning games of Blood Bowl. Just roll some dice. Do whatever the fuck you want. Yeah, I would have scattered it personally. Only one man up. So it's not looking as good as you would think after turning Morva on his drive. Guards here. I'm going to punch him first. GFI hit scatter. That seems good. Unfortunately, there's like precisely zero fucking safe moves. Or I could blitz him, but then he's blotch. And that's better though, isn't it? And I've got to reroll this up to one in nine. The power gang. Oh, baby. Yeah, pause it. God, why didn't you catch it, you dick? Catch it, warriors! Well, you know it's gonna just go up the fucking catch it. That's pretty that's pretty decent. Ah, on appelle ça le baiser du Nefel. Oh, more powers. Oh baby. Oh baby. Power fucking look, look what a difference what a difference when you can roll a fucking power, eh? <laughs> Get off my fucking pitch, prick. <laughs> Jesus, what a turn. Right, the problem is I can't really go for the pickup, can I? And it's still just a 4 plus pickup for him, but I guess he's got a dodge in there and everything. He could pow him. That was insane, wasn't it? See, if this had been the first half, then the second half is easy, isn't it? So that's the, that's the fucking problem. But then, of course... Could have just could have just done that receiving, and then the second half would have been easy. So I quite like leaving the ball where it's not easy to get to. Like he'd have to dodge in there, wouldn't he? Or he'd have to scatter, and then he's still like there's such a web of tackle zones. I think it's best to not move anybody and not let him have anything for free. Oh, 
Although obviously it's scary because you can easily roll a four plus. Like it's so easy from to roll. roll. <laughs> this is power lord into removals. That was a hell of a turn, wasn't it? It does indeed, that feels, yeah. Yeah, trusting in blood can be risky. I guess I could have hit him because he couldn't have sidestepped to here because then these are like four plus dodges and stuff. So, I f yeah, no, it would have been 2D. So, I thought the push was bad on him. Okay, this is pretty good, isn't it? But it actually wasn't because he couldn't really dodge to the here or here. Or, or he would have been back there. And I guess it makes him a little bit faster. Because now 1, 2, 3 to get there. But if he'd gone there, he'd gone 1, 2 to there. So it would have made it a little bit easier for him. But then obviously he could have powered and cast him. So maybe I should have made that block. Not sure. That was a nice chain, wasn't it? To get him a bit easier on the ball. But his reroll is gone, so he could fail the pickup. <laughs> You could fail the pickup anyway, but. Not going for it yet. Uh, hopefully going to catch it. Ho going to go for the catch here. Hey. I can't do predictions. It's a, it's a ball to do. I'll try and play it to be honest. Maybe I should have made that 3D. I just didn't know where he's going to size it to. He's gone on the ball. That's good for me. <laughs> oh, I knew that would happen. Motherfucker. Scoring range. He's in scoring range. Vas-y, mon gars, pense l'œil. Ce joueur va se prendre un coup dessus et en dessous de la ceinture. This might get a better scout to a beast man. Just catch it, obviously. No. No, he cannot catch it. Yeah, basing level one guy, it's better than nothing though, right? Every little helps. No, maybe I shouldn't have, maybe I shouldn't have scattered. But I just wanted the three chances of picking it up. It was the thing. Good. Because I just wanted the three, the three four pluses, right? Either it goes into one of these squares, which is fine, further away from elves, um, or it, it goes back into one of these. Like three out of eight gives me a fifty-fifty at picking it up without rolling dice, doesn't it? 
So that's why I did the scabber. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, the catch. I mean, a lot of them were sixes, to be fair. A lot of them were sixes. Um, yeah, right there. His was a six, even, wasn't it? So there were a lot of sixes. Some were fives. And then those last ones were fours, weren't they? I didn't have anyone left to foul with. I mean, yeah, terrible chain scout was possible, but not unlikely though, wasn't it? And I still had the player to, to I still had the player to react if it was a horrible chain scout. I mean, maybe it was wrong. I don't know. Man. The thing is, right? If 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 I don't scatter it and I don't break armor, then and I fail the pickup, then he's right there to get it, isn't he? So. Yeah, no, I'd, I would have liked to have fouled, don't get me wrong. Don't get me wrong, I would have loved to have stuck a foul. In. <laughs> Good thing is, he's in an eye cage here, isn't he? He's double skulled on an uphill. Hey! Glorious. Phew. I mean, I couldn't foul on offense, right? Because I was trying to score. That's another bad thing about... Like, I don't know. It's hard to foul. It's hard to foul anyway, really, at any point in Blood Bowl. But, like, unless you just don't care about winning. If you don't care about winning, it's easy to foul. But if you care about winning, at any stage against Elves, you've got to protect the ball or, like, you know, pressure the ball or whatever. Like, the ball's far more important than fucking getting a foul in, isn't it? So generally you foul when you've already won. Most often against elves. Again, I don't want to foul, right? I want to protect the ball. Why would I foul? That doesn't make any sense. Oh, baby. Oh, baby. It's different because they have shit players. Right? The thing the difference with Kenry, Undead, Necro and Gobble, they have shit players. They have 40k players that can't do fucking anything. They have garbage, absolute the worst players in Blood Bowl, don't they? Right? Skeletons, zombies, and uh and goblins are like the worst players in Blood Bowl. So of course they foul. But when you've got a dude who's movement six, agility three, and has horns, I mean they're not they're not orange scissors. You would never have one on your team <laughs> if TV wasn't a concern, right? <laughs> it's like never a player you would choose to have. If TV didn't exist, so they're they're they're, they're all right for the TV, but they're terrible players. They're absolutely terrible, terrible players. Obviously, four three two eight is terrible. <laughs> Five three two seven is also terrible. They are terrible, terrible blood ball players. So that's why you foul with them. But only because because they're worth like you know they can be worth their TV, but they're still terrible, aren't they? <laughs> like yeah, yeah. But that's what I mean. But in the game, they're not. In the game, TV isn't a thing. Once you're playing the game, there's no TV anymore, is there? So, once you're playing the game, then oh, I just want to have a good player, thank you. Yeah, I, I had a I had a whole hobgoblin team on Fumble. It was actually like one of my best win rate teams as well. Funnily enough. Hey. Do 
just roll pals, simple as. He could palm, or he could like blitz and then assist this hit. But why would I blitz with him? Just blitz with him and claw palm. No, because I wouldn't knock him over. Alright, good point. Never mind. Right, he's got his uphill on the ball or a blood stepper on the ball, whatever. Whatever, Trevor. It's not actually GG yet, is it? Would have loved to have been able to hand it off to Ansi. But not at nil nil. Not at nil nil. <laughs> Would have done at one nil, obviously. But not at nil. Yes. Yeah, it would. It would. It, I think that was a sensible thing to have done, Jellio. But then I just wanted to get claw palm cars. You know, sometimes you just want to be a banger, don't you? Ah, les joueurs viennent au soutien de leurs coéquipiers. Freedy. Get up there. Do you know what? Because of, fucking, because of uh, Mr. Page, I fucking look at that. I did exactly what he did there. I fucking looked at the dice log because he fucking mentioned it. And the dice log does have the power on that end. <laughs> and then when you're on the screen, it's at the other end. I nearly fucking did it as well. Fuck's sake. <laughs> <laughs> Nearly did the fucking page misclick. Oh, that's the last thing I need to do. <laughs> yeah, exactly, Wolfpack, exactly. That's the thing, isn't it? It's, it's not over till it's over. Anything can happen. Never, uh, never, never concede. Because people might just pick skulls <laughs> instead of pals. <laughs> because of the order in the fucking dice load. <laughs> that was something I never needed to learn. <laughs> and now I can't help but look at the dice log. <laughs> so yeah, he didn't have blockers in the end, did he? Uh, but he did make more blocks in the first half, because obviously I was trying to push up to get hits in. Catches. He made one out of four catches. Zero out of ten catches. <laughs> <laughs> and then to be fair, failed the one in nine pickup but made the other two. 31, 24, 34, 16, 16, 18. So again, his dice fell off, didn't they? At first, it seemed like everything was a pal, and then it wasn't. Good. <laughs> yeah, and then when it's over, it might not count anyway. Yeah, you've got to be able to see that the, that the server hasn't eaten it. Very good point. Very good point. Right, but now it's counted. So... Didn't get any levels. Hardly any SPP. We got the win, that's the important thing. Yes, yeah, roll loads of pals, yeah, exactly, like, at first half it was just like, it was horrible rolling dub skulls and not doing anything, but then second half just powered everybody, and obviously the, the dice really swung hard, second half. Um, right, thanks for watching, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe, and stay fantastic.